Hey everybody, let me take these off actually. Got a glare going on. Hey, okay, so this is my 36 week vlog. It's gonna entail quite a bit. Um, first I'll start off with, I just got my hair braided yesterday. My mom came from out of town. I'll talk about that later, but she came from out of town and she helped me um, braid my hair. She will start it and I will finish the rest of it because they're relatively long. As you can see, it's a big old bun up here. I still have to do the ends of them again because they kind of started unraveling. But um, off of that, 36 weeks, let me get to, um, I want to fit everything in, so I'm trying not to uh, be long-winded. My symptoms I have been having this week, I'm still having heartburn really bad. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been extra thirsty. I have been <clears throat> swelling in my hands and feet uh, relatively bad. At least for the past week, I have been swole. I've, swole, I've swollen up every day, a couple times a day. Um, what else? Oh, sore breasts. That's definitely one of those. It's really sore nipples, not necessarily breasts, but nipples. Itchy breast and belly, definitely. And like this past week, I've kind of had diarrhea. I don't know. Well, it past like three days at least, three or four days. I don't know, because it could be a lot, of a lot of stuff that's going on. I don't know what exactly is causing that. I'm not going to go and speculate on it. I really don't care. I just want it to stop. Um, but this week, I said I was going to start showing you the stuff that I'm getting prepared for baby with. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff in, because it's quite a bit. That's why I wanted to give you all my symptoms that I'm having. And let me just give you a belly shot real quick, because I may forget at the end. And I'm going to insert a picture because me and my husband, we did a belly cast last night. Hopefully you all can see this. Yeah, we did a belly cast last night, so I'm going to insert the pictures of that. Hopefully I can get them in here. If not, they'll be in the next one. So, yeah. Let me go with what I purchased for myself for baby. The things I was telling you all. You gotta make sure you have. Um, gonna start with these should have been cotton, so I have to go back and change this. But a pack of underwear, and I don't need fancy smashy. They're regular bikinis, uh, but I normally get a new pack of underwear, bunch of pads, and nursing bras, which is right here. Nope, that name. This one? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's this one. Yeah, that's my little sister in the back, guys. You'll see her probably. Yeah, and some nursing bras. I got two. They for two for sixteen ninety eight, so eight bucks a piece. Two nursing bras and my underwear. So need fresh garments. My thing is, I I, I don't want stuff that. I, I want really clean stuff, new stuff for my body to recuperate with. I guess that's the, the thing that I'm trying to get at. And for the first maybe week, because you'll be doing a lot of bleeding and you're supposed to not really move much, I do light control panty briefs, these here. Um, yeah, and they have a small tummy panel so they help pr compress your stomach a little bit. Cause you don't want to go and straight press it like the day after you have the baby you want to wait at least a week my opinion so then once i'm able to here goes my firmer one this is a extra firm control high waist brief and as you can see how long it is and i get black because black goes under mostly everything black doesn't stain in case there's an accident like say you you know as women you understand that sometimes we can't get to where we need to get to we can over fill a pad or whatever so you understand where I'm going with that no need to explain but yes this one has way firmer um way firmer uh tummy structures and the other thing that I have right here I've had this one I forgot which pregnancy I got it uh for my second uh postpartum 
And this is called the belly cincher. Is it? This is called the cinch. I don't remember what it's at the, like the full name. I ordered it offline. It was like 50 bucks. But um, it has underneath the pier, it has little things that you measure around and you see how big your waist and hips are. And you put the Velcro strips in here to that to fit around you. And it helps compress and it also gives back support. But it helps to smush everything back into. So I have options on that. That's, so that's my shapewear post baby for the first. I'll say this is what I use for like my first six weeks. Then after that, I go on to, you know, heavy duty uh, other things if I need it. Um, so, why my ring keep getting caught? Um, I went to get the new baby some certain, certain things to have for when I birth him. But I was missing one thing. I could not find any newborn hats. Like the whole newborn section was like white empty. This one wall where all that stuff would be was gone. But uh, I just got to show you guys this. It was just a cute little shirt for my daughter. It says I heart daddy. It was only $3. Time just went off. Um, we're making us something to eat. We hungry. We just got back from grocery shopping, so we were really, really hungry. But um, I got one pack because I don't. My babies don't normally stay a little long, and I don't normally have small babies. My babies come out around eight pounds, so I don't get newborn. I get zero to three months, and I got a pack of onesies. Of course, every baby needs a pack of onesies. Every baby needs a pack of receiving blankets. These were ten dollars. Look at it. It's got it's so cute. Like it's got a star, it's got a chevron, it's got the stars with the little car, and it's got all the little, you know, vehicles. Like I'm dropping everything. Ugh. And because like I said, that whole wall was I couldn't get a whole pack of newborn socks. But I seen some cute ones that I wanted to pay for. They were two dollars, a dollar eighty seven. So we got some again, like I, these are zero to six months, but a pack of regular, you know, blues. And then I got him. Um, little striped ones and little, blue, you know, red ones. So he'd be okay for the first, you know, week, possibly. But he has other things, like from his brothers. But the basic things, those are the kind of things that you, you do need to get because he has a lot of summer clothes. He has a lot of outfits, is what I mean. He has a lot of outfits. He has all his equipment, but he needed the basic things. I do have a half a pack, um... Of newborn or what ones newborn to one pampers that was given to me and I'm going to use those for the first week when they do the tar poop and, and you know from the time that they get to the regular breastfeeding poop and then I'm going to try to start cloth, I'm going to try the cloth diapering from that point on um, so uh, I got him something else I got him the hooded towel back wrap here this is for after I birth him like I said I intend to have him in the pool so this is what I want him to be wrapped in when he comes out. So this is his I'm coming out. blanket, but not in that way, but in the other way, like I'm entering the world with. So, and I had to give me some hair ties for this hair because they were, they, it's a lot. And I'm using a scarf right now to tie them up. Now, ugh, I'm looking at every which way. Cause now we're going to get into all of my birthing birthing materials because I told you all my I had to purchase my home birth kit box and I have it here but I'm gonna tell you the first things that I got so a few things that I got from Walmart that didn't come in here that I needed um, for a dollar 88 cents you need one of these little fishnet thingies uh ladies you know we can poop while we're giving birth and if it's in the water it's easily scoopable out so that's what i was told i needed to have um i have two of these lightweight shower liners because i will make my bed with my sheet lay the shower curtain in between and make my bed up again with another sheet so that uh you know once i get out the water and i lay in the bed and they check me and you know do all those other things i can take those sheets off and that plastic off it, it protects the bed that is made for me to actually recuperate in underneath stay sanitary and clean 
So I have two of those just in case. One for a floor somewhere in case I don't I want to make sure the floor doesn't get wet. Whatever. But now it's time to open this box. Um, I'm gonna just really read the order so you all know what's in there. If there's anything special, I will let you know. But this this is like Oh, I was mad too because it was wet. My box was wet. It was just sitting out in the rain. The people did not knock. If they did, I didn't hear it. So. But <laughs> let me see. Where's my order slip? Okay. It's not in here? No. I don't want to. Ooh, I don't want to pull everything out because it's packed so neatly. But here. This is, those little blue things, those are the things that they lay over the bed. I'll pull one out. I don't mind opening one. But these things, the liners, like with the, if you've ever been in a hospital and they lay you on the bed, they put them underneath of you to catch liquids and stuff to keep the bed from getting wet or the area. And here we have some gauze sponges. I have another pack of those. We have... The adult diapers, like this is in case, uh, you know, I want to wear this instead of a pad initially or whatnot. I have a syringe. I have my Dynahex 4, which is an antiseptic chlorhexidine gluconate 4% solution. So this is obviously going to be used to clean stuff. And you know, if you've ever had a baby or you've ever been cut down there, after you have the baby, to keep yourself clean, every time you go to the toilet, you have to clean yourself with one of these like you have to have warm water in here and like they you don't have to have like tux pads and stuff like that to wipe and cool and keep it from being inflamed tux pad or those hemorrhoid pads you don't know and also have what is this a perennial cold pack um do not reuse so single use only do not reuse So I don't want to mess with it because I don't want to rupture it and use it right now because you do something with it and it starts to work. But there's pads in here. Those are, there's a the little underwear that go over your pads when you like because they have that huge pads and they have like these mesh underwear that you wear over top of them in the hospital so that you're not confined just yet. I was like that first day you're not really gonna do what I was talking about here. That's for days and like week later. Um, but yes, they are all the things that I would, she would need to keep everything sanitary and protected and to keep me comfortable. Let me get my little book out because I'm sure it has, an, I, it gives me a better, um, description of what is actually in the bag. But, uh. Yeah, this upcoming appointment we have on Tuesday is a home visit. So my Bert, my, um, my lady, I can't remember, my lady will be here and we will, um, my husband will be here. So she's going to talk to him, tell him what he, he's to do and, you know, stuff like that. And where is my section that has my thing on it? Okay. So... It doesn't have the list on it. That's okay. I'll, you know what? I'll do a, a slide and I'll, and I'll type out what is in there. I'll get my order. Order and do it like that. But yes, the things that, but yes, yeah, she's coming to the house to discuss with us what to be expected. She's gonna drop off the pool. I'm excited. And so for what I needed to get, uh, like, uh, what I was gonna say, uh, da, 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 da. the things that I needed to get, yeah. We need to have old towels, newborn hats, newborn diapers and clothing, receiving blankets, diapers, wipes, olive oil, um, and this, oh, the antiseptic, but because it's already included in the birth kit, I don't have to go and purchase it. Plastic shower curtains to cover 
the bed. I have two just in case. A pair of sheets to be washed slash bleached for your bed. I have two sheets already. Um, they say a large bowl for your placenta. Plastic bag and shovel for the placenta disposal. Um, large clean trash bag to put, um, you know, all the stuff that she's going to be throwing away in there. Laundry basket for all the <coughs> dirty, soiled things. My raspberry, red leaf tea, and honey. Anti antibacterial soap and baby, ba baby bathing supplies have all of that. Uh, nutritious food and snacks for mom, dad, and midwife. Coconut water, not coconut milk. So I'm going to try and find some. I'm going to taste it now and then see if I want to have it for later. If not, Gatorade it is. Um, people to help with child care for siblings and a camera if wanted. So everything, I don't need to go out and buy anything except the baby hats. That's the only thing which I was pretty peeved about because I really wanted to get that. I really wanted to get that. And probably, and, and, and my cloth diapers. That's it. So those are the only two things that I need. And maybe a pool liner, but I may just, at, when she comes here, I may see if we can use our tub because our tub is pretty big. There's enough space for me in there. The only thing is I just, when I go into the tub, they just need to be able to help me in and out, which is, which is fine. And that'll keep us from having to set up too much and clean up too much, especially on my husband's behalf. Um, so, yeah. I know I feel like I talk very fast and because I, I just really wanted to let you all know everything that I could. Um, because it's coming up. I'm 36 weeks. Actually, tomorrow I'll be 37 weeks. So, my last child came at 37 weeks. And the child before that came at 38 weeks. So, I'm within my range for baby uh, coming time. And so next Thursday I'll be finished with my class. And the Monday following that I'm finished with school period. So I'm excited. But on the downside. So you all know like this week has been hectic. I haven't been able to tell you all. But um, this that my, the reason my mother was here was because she was helping me. And she took two of my kids off my hands. Because my mother-in-law had a stroke so we've been at the hospital and trying to take care of her trying to take care of everything that we can possibly because um you know that's my husband's mother and that's their grandmother and i kind of wanted the one that is the most aware of what's going on to kind of be distracted a little bit let him stay for about a week after but he needs to go and do something else go play with you know the kid his friends that are at my mom's house and then the littlest one because she needs a little bit much you know so she can go too. So we kept my two year old here with us and my little sister is here because she's going to help me with him. And she's going to see her dad in Louisiana. So it's easier for her to hop a flight from here to there. So she's my helper slash she's on vacation type thing with me. And it kind of worked out because we didn't know when she would be able to come here for vacation. And then it just everything worked out, even though something was crazy, something crazy had happened for it to, you know, for her to be able to do that. But whatever. Um, but we know the time just went off. But we know that God is God is real and he is going to take care of my mother in law. We have no doubts for her full recovery. We have no doubts that she will be restored to herself and an even better self than before. And I just ask for you guys, you know, to send out your prayers, you know, you know, give God a ring a ding ding and let him know to uh, you know, help the Harris family. And and we'll be all right. Uh, the first day or two was the roughest. Oh man, it was the roughest. But uh, we've been doing very well, and I just thank God for that alone. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. I thank God I had a few minutes here to get some stuff done for the baby that possibly could come within. The next week or two because even though we have all that stuff going on i still have to be prepared and and, that, and that's what i'm trying to do to, to cut off the stress from my husband to make sure that everything else on my end over here is taken care of so if he just need to rush home then he's home and he don't have to do anything and and yeah so i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>